This isn't your grandfather's Democratic Party. In the three months following the October 7th attack, there has been an increase of 360% of anti-Semitic incidents in this country. It was reported earlier this year that there was an exodus of Jewish families leaving Oakland, uh, Oakland California because of the anti-Semitic radicalization of the teachers union in that city. This isn't 1930s Nazi Germany. This is 21st century California where we're seeing this happen. It's very clear. Far left activists look to their leaders for direction. The democratic thought leaders in that party sympathize with terrorists. Well, Mr. Speaker, let me just say, I've never heard so much BS in my life, to be honest with you. And let me just remind my colleagues uh, that Donald Trump, the guy they apologize for constantly, is the one who let Iran attack U.S. troops. Donald Trump is the one who allowed not one, but dozens of Chinese spy balloons to fly overhead without telling us. Donald Trump is the one who gave classified Israeli intelligence to the Russians, intelligence they could, they could have given to Iran. Donald Trump is the one who went to North Korea, remember that? Uh, and tried to get br a brutal dictator to love him. He said, hey, uh, Kim Jong-un and I are in love. Donald Trump is the one who tried to extort Ukraine by withholding our aid, and he was impeached over it. Donald Trump praises Putin. He fawns over Xi Jinping and Viktor Orban. He, um, he, you know, and he says Kim Jong-un lo love letters. How pathetic. How pathetic. You know, Donald Trump is the one who praised an angry mob who attacked the United States Capitol and injured people. That's all good on my, for my friends on the other side. At every step of the way, Trump stood with America's adversaries and those who oppose democracy. I'm sorry that it's an inconvenient truth for my Republican friends, but it is the truth. And contrast that with Joe Biden. Joe Biden rallied the world to Ukraine's defense. He defended our ally Israel and their airspace. And he has rebuilt our image on the world stage and has stood up for democracy. My friends on the other side said nothing when the previous president was apologizing and praising every tin horn dictator in the world who had no regard for human rights. Democrats are the party of democracy. Republicans can use whatever rhetoric they want about the far left or the far left that. Their party has been radi radicalized by MAGA extremists. Here we are at this late date debating legislation that is going nowhere when in fact our allies Specifically, Ukraine is out of money and out of equipment to defend themselves against Russia. And my friends just sit there and twiddle their thumbs. This is pathetic. This is pathetic. I urge my colleagues to understand what's going on here. We're, going, we're doing this exercise that is going nowhere. I don't know who it's designed to please, maybe to show that we're doing work when we're not doing work. We actually passed a bill uh, on Iran months ago, six months. Uh, six months ago to be exact, that, that's still here. They never even sent over to the Senate. This is all for show. And meanwhile, we have a real crisis on our hands. And so I, I hope my friends will get serious. Let's, go, let's waste this time doing these bills that are problematic and that are going nowhere. But don't come and lecture us about democracy or about protecting Israel, or about protecting democracy in Ukraine. It is because of House Republicans that the world right now is on the brink. And I hope that sooner, hopefully in the next couple of days, you come to your senses and allow us to provide relief to our ally Ukraine. Um, I hope that we do that, because if not, it'll be too late. You've waited so long, constantly giving in to the most extreme right-wing elements of your party, People have nothing but contempt for Ukraine, for democratic movements who couldn't give a damn about human rights. So it is pathetic that at this late date, we are here doing this um, and not doing what we should have done a long time ago, and that is provide Ukraine the assistance it needs to push back on Russia. With that, I reserve my time.